started playing the drums when I was 10 in the school band and we had to take a music aptitude test and from that music aptitude test we could pick whatever instrument we wanted to play and I actually scored pretty high on the test so I was one of the first ones to get to pick and I was kind of torn between trumpet and drums and something just called out to me to play the drum so I showed up from school that day and told my mom like you need to buy me a snare drum I'm gonna be in the school band and playing the drums and luckily they encouraged that and purchased me my first drum and from there I just kind of kept practicing. Yeah, I had a really hard time in the high school marching band. Um, uh, just being the only girl on an all-guy drum line, I really didn't like. I kind of had a feeling that the band director was a bit sexist and um, he ended up putting me on the xylophone and I refused to learn how to read the music and I ended up basically flunking out of band, <laughs> which is really unfortunate. But from there, I kind of pursued my dreams of cooking and I went to culinary school and I cooked all around the country and it always called back to me. The drums were always what I really wanted to do and it never felt right cooking. So I ended up kind of gravitating back towards being behind the kit. Being out in San Diego, I moved from Chicago to San Diego and I got laid off from a number of jobs just because the restaurant turnover there is so high and the last one I got laid off I just decided to make a change and I went to bartending school and decided to try and make a little money in, instead of being broke cooking all the time and through bartending I started meeting local musicians and um, kind of being able to start seeing local shows and it was always kind of in the back of my head and I finally was able to save up enough money to buy an electronic drum kit just to see if I could play and I did and it just felt so right that from there I made this silly little video on YouTube of me playing electronic drums and I posted that ad on Craigslist and to an ad on Craigslist looking for a guitar player thinking if I could find one person to be in a band with I wouldn't be overwhelmed since I didn't know that much about playing live. And I did, and that person was Tone and Little Hurricane, and four years later we're touring our first headlining tour right now. I think the difference is when you walk out on stage as a female drummer, the bar is set so low. <laughs> People think you're going to suck. They assume that you're really going to suck. Um, and so when you don't suck, they're actually really surprised and kind of almost give you more credit than you deserve. But I see other drummers, I know where I am and what level I want to be at, um, and there's a big gap there. But I want to be the kind of drummer that inspires other female drummers, and I constantly meet parents that say, oh, my, my daughter watches you on YouTube, and now she wants to play the drums. And I think that that's really, really cool. We can feel it in our knees Plan on your scheme wisely. So we recorded the album Gold Fever in this gold mining town in Julian, California. 
and we rented this old apple packing farmhouse. Um, and we rented it out for a few weeks and brought in a bunch of equipment and recorded it all there. Um, the songwriting is somewhat collaborative on certain songs and somewhat more of, some of them are like the ideas that Tone had from before or um, ideas he's had in his head, but there's definitely certain songs on the album that are very much me and my story, which is really cool and part of the reason I love being in a duo because I can contribute lyrically in that way and um, when you're going through some tough times, sometimes it's really great to get that out in a song and um, I consider myself really lucky to be able to do that. Trees will all burn, ash falls like leaves. Storms growing cold, we can feel it in our knees. Take what you want, oh, they steal what you keep. I'm playing 5A nylon tip. Um, somebody once told me like all oh, the rock drummers play the wooden tip drums and so that's why I thought well I gotta be like the aggressive rock drummer. But I always go back to the nylon tip. I love the way it sounds on the cymbals. Um, I love the way it sounds on my snare drum and it just feels right. So I've really been never able to switch from that. That's what I first learned how to play with and I still play with them today. Vic Firth is like the go-to stick. So it's, it's what I will always use for sure.